Since transitioning my freelance business from part-time to full-time and working at home these past few months, I've been trying to save money in any and every way I can. These are gonna be my top five tips for how to save a little bit more money without compromising your quality of life. Let's get into it. We've all been there. It's late at night, you go down an Amazon recommended rabbit hole, you end up buying something that you don't really need, or even worse yet, you forget that you buy it. A couple days later, you get a package that shows up and you don't even remember what you ordered. The best way I've found to combat this internet impulse shopping, if I find something that I want to purchase or I might enjoy owning, I'm going to add it to my cart and I'm going to let it sit there for a couple of days or even a couple of weeks. This is going to give time to process and it's going to take away that emotional factor out of the purchasing decision and a lot of times just adding it to your cart you kind of get that same satisfaction that shopping might bring you without the extra expense and without the unnecessary clutter in your life so ditch your one-click ordering on Amazon take a little bit more time with your purchases you'll be surprised how little you actually end up buying Saving money doesn't mean that you can't go out to eat every once in a while. Search for happy hour deals, search for certain days of the week that are gonna have better deals at your favorite restaurants. Often restaurants will do happy hour deals where the food is two or three times cheaper than it is during the regular hours. It's a great opportunity to be able to dine out at places you otherwise wouldn't be able to afford. Usually you're getting a little bit of a bigger portion than what you really need, so you can actually take that food home. It saves on calories, but it also saves a lot on cost. And even better yet, you can save more money by going to the grocery store and cooking a meal for yourself at home. It's always the best way to save. Only buy groceries for the items that you need for specific recipes. I'm a big fan of prepping my meals. It's a great way to stay on track with my health and my calorie goals, but it's also a way to ensure that I don't have any excess food waste or any excess money waste. I only buy things I need for the recipes and I come prepared with a list. Most grocery store chains actually have apps where you can clip digital coupons. So if you plan out your list beforehand, you can go through, find all the available coupons, and that's gonna save you that much more money with only a couple of minutes of extra work. There are a few other things you can look out for to save even more. If you have packages with different size options, most of the price tags in the grocery store aisles will actually have a cost per ounce. By default, you generally assume that the larger size is gonna be the better value because you get more. I've seen plenty of occasions where the smaller size packaging is actually the lower cost per ounce. So be sure to take some time and check your labels before you add it into your cart. In today's crazy fast fashion industries, it's so easy to buy more clothes than you really need. Uh, over the past few years, I've been slowly transitioning into more of a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is essentially a system where every article of clothing that you own is going to match and potentially go with every other item. Um, so what you end up getting from this is one, a lot less stress in trying to figure out outfits in the morning. Everything works with everything else, so it's just nice and easy. But beyond that, it's going to require less articles of clothing and you get to maximize the amount of combinations for different outfits from that small amount. You can always skip the restaurants, skip the shopping, skip the movie theaters, and just go outside and spend some time in nature, or at least around your local city. You know, there are tons of great parks and hiking trails and biking trails, so it's great to take advantage of those. And it's also a great way to get in some extra exercise, so you could actually skip your gym membership as well if you wanted. There are even apps like geocaching where you can go on a worldwide scavenger hunt with different things hidden around your city. So many great options to do outside, I could not recommend it enough. There are so many more tips that I didn't get a chance to touch on in this video, and there are so many more ways that even myself personally can be much more frugal. I'd love to hear your best tips down below in the comments. Let's get a good positive discussion going so we can all learn a few new things. And as always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this, it helps me out a ton. But until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.